Hey everyone, this is Chris and I am Matt and this is Six Wins Best Male Actor Bracket. Today we are talking about the matchup between number four Robin Williams and the number 13 seed Michael Keaton. Chris, I know you have very strong feelings on this one. The floor is yours. Yeah, you could say that. Um, I don't want to catch too much heat, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a little easy <clears throat> because I want to get this out. I am a Robin Williams fan. Mm -hmm. I like him. However, I think he's overrated. Now, I'll say this because I don't think he got the love that he has now before he unfortunately passed before his time. Very sad. I'm not making any light of the fact that he was a little depressed behind the scenes, maybe some substance abuse stuff. Um, but I just never heard anybody say, I'm a huge Robin Williams fan before he passed. Now it's like everyone's on the Robin Williams train. I think Biggie Smalls got a little bit of that too. He was great and it's very similar. Like I, I like Biggie Smalls, but people rank him as like among the best. And I just don't think that he had two albums and I'll save my thoughts there <laughs> when we do best musician or best hip hop artist. Yeah. Um, I love Mrs. Doubtfire, like everybody. He was awesome. Um, I liked, he was great in Jumanji. I think that's my favorite Rob, Robin Williams movie. <laughs> Jumanji was cool. Uh, you know, they capitalized on the fact that he was good in Aladdin and the studio execs were like, let's cram him into, you know, instead of a lamp, let's do a video, a board game. Let's cram him into stuff. Robin Williams, just cram him in there. Um, that's good. He had that really good stand-up special where he spoke in a Scottish accent and drank 19 bottles of water and sweat all over the place. He was, he was a fine comic. But Michael Keaton, I just love Michael Keaton. I yeah. wanted to see him go far. Multiplicity is like my favorite comedy film of all time where he plays the main guy who gets too busy in life so he clones himself to go to work, and so that clone turns out to be like, I'm, I'm dumb kitty, and I work, a, the total brute. And then he realizes he's still too busy, so he makes another clone who takes care of the house stuff, so he ends up being like, really particular about stuff, and like, are you folding the aluminum foil right? Tuck, tuck, fold. And so one of the clones is like, we're still too busy, so we're gonna make a clone of the clone, and we all know what happens when you try to make a copy of a copy. It doesn't turn out quite as sharp as the original. And so that movie just... Maybe I'm a little biased because I'm such a big Multiplicity fan. I'm <laughs> sure out of the ten people that watch this, one may have seen Multiplicity. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Um, but I was very, very much hoping that Michael Keaton would move on. He had Beetlejuice. Mm. He played Birdman, which I think... Birdman or him got an Oscar for. I think yeah, Birdman I was. think he got the best actor as well. That that mm. that cleaned up pretty well at the Academy Awards that year. Yeah. Um and I don't know, I just like like I don't want to turn this into a Robin Williams bashing segment yeah. because because I do like him, but like was he that good? Like he he was known for like his like comedy and like improv, like thinking on his feet. Well, did you ever see him going whose line is it anyway with like the real pros? Like all he did was probably a bunch of cocaine before <laughs> and just was loud. <laughs> he was just loud. Like, yes, yeah, sir, Michael. What are you talking about? Yes. That is so, that is kind of like the the like traditional go-to if you do like the Robin Williams impression. Just like jump to like nine different voices all like telling the same story. That was kind of one of his trademarks. I'll fill in here because you're right. Michael Keaton, I think is uh, close to underseated, maybe. Uh, he's very talented. It, and like you said, in addition to, to Birdman and some of his like more recent stuff, obviously he got cast in Birdman and it was a bit of sort of like a like a meta movie because mm. he was cast as like pl like being an actor coming back mm. to a role and I think that was like sort of based on his real life being Batman right. in uh, a couple he was one of our many Batmans on this list. Um, which I think he did really well as Batman. Um, He's my Batman. Yeah. And uh, so Michael Keaton's got a lot of solid films. I will say, like, Robin Williams' comedy is what he's most well known for, but it is comedy that 
like most comedy isn't always for everyone. So I mm-hmm. think you will get people be like, Robin Williams just doesn't do it for me. Mm-hmm. But Robin Williams did have a few like really solid, serious roles. Uh, he's in Good Will Hunting as kind of like the psychologist, psychiatrist for Matt Damon's character. Very like serious role, does a really good job. And he's in Dead Poet Society, um, which for a lot of people is like, a really, really solid movie mm-hmm. and like very, very dramatic, very serious. So Robin Williams has shown more than just the comedy in his movie roles, mm-hmm. as opposed to like his his TV appearances and his stand up. Yeah. So I I do think like Robin Williams can get a little bit more credit, even if you don't like his comedy. He has pulled off some of the serious stuff before. So yeah, I do. You want to reveal who won? Did Michael Keaton come through for you? Well, I just wanted to say. One oh thing. yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I wanted to tell you one thing. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Goodwill Hunting. Yeah, it was He's trying Goodwill to break hunting. through with Damon. He goes, yeah. I, know, I know. What do you do? Why are you doing this to me, man? I didn't know what Matt Damon said there, so I was like, I'm going to make it up. <laughs> well, I was hoping to have a breakthrough. <laughs> with me? To, yeah, I was hoping oh, to penetrate. That'll take a few more months. Michael Keaton? Lost. <laughs> Michael Keaton did lose. Robin Williams went on. He might see that that swell and that surge from again, like the untimely passing does make people like go back and like reevaluate something and maybe view it in a more preferable lens. So we'll see how he does um, in the later rounds. But mm-hmm. he, he could be he might be the main like the comedy guy that yeah. goes furthest. Yeah. So, so we'll see for sure. <laughs>